I thought I would try and do a video demonstrating turning the heel in the method that Priscilla Gibson Roberts describes in her book Simple Socks, Plain and Fancy. It's a short row technique using yarn overs, not wrapping. Okay, if you're looking at the pattern from Sock Madness, when it gets to the heel, it says knit across all but the last stitch on the bottom needle. That's knit 31 and then turn. So that's where we are right now. I've knitted across. I'm using a magic loop method here. I have one stitch left and I'm going to turn. But I'm going to switch to a double pointed needle at this point. I think that'll be easier. So I'll slip that stitch on here. Drop the circular tip and turn around to look at the purl side. Now with the purl side facing, this is step number two, do a backward yarn over and purl 30, stopping one stitch before the end of the needle. So backward yarn over. A usual yarn over would be like that. Backward yarn over means go that way. So the yarn is coming across to the front of the needle. This is going to be a little tricky to go into that first stitch, I have to kind of hold it a little bit out of the way when I wrap to turn get a, to do the purl and then off. So now look, you see you've got this is your yarn over here, there's a gap and then this is the next stitch you did. Then we're going to purl across we're going to purl all the way across to the other side. Coming near to the end of the purl row now. Whoops. Come to the penultimate stitch. Stop. Got one stitch left here. Turn. Okay. Now we have the knit side facing and we're to instruction number three. It says right side facing, yarn over, and knit 29. That's each time one stitch fewer, stopping when you get to the paired stitch and yarn over of the previous row. Okay, so we've turned, yarn over, the yarn's going from the front to the back, knit that first stitch, and again I kind of hold on to this. So again, here's the last stitch that you just left abandoned in the gap yarn over and a stitch in a pair. Now we're going to knit back across to the other end. I'll rejoin you when we get near the end. Okay, we're knitting across, coming near to the end. Okay, now I knitted that stitch and I noticed that these two are hanging together. Oops. Um, this is a stitch and yarn over pair. And this is one of the things I like about this heel technique. I don't really have to count. When I get to a pair, I know it's time to stop and turn around. So I turn around, and then we do like the last time. Do a backward yarn over, because you're on the back side. And purl across. Okay, see now we've got two yarn over stitch pairs. And we're going to keep doing this back and forth until this number of plain stitches in the middle is down to a small number. In this pattern, I think it's 12 or 10. I would have to look ahead to find out. But that's the basic technique for the first half of the heel. I'll come back when we're closer to the middle and ready to start working in the other direction. Okay, I think I'm nearly done with this, so I thought I would rejoin you. I've uh, purled across. I've got two a stitch yarn over pair. I have a bunch of stitch yarn over pairs here. I'm going to turn around and uh, it's time to count the stitches between the yarn overs. So I'm going to kind of spread them out. You can see here's a stitch yarn over pair and then these are plain stitches. So I start counting with this stitch. Okay, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve stitches here. So when I do the yarn over, 
and start knitting with this one as one, I'm going to have 12 stitches between the yarn overs. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then there's a yarn over. So I'm done. I've gotten this narrow enough. I am now done with this smaller, smaller, smaller bit. Now we're going to start getting bigger, bigger, bigger. So I've got the right side facing. As the instructions say, your last turn will bring the right side facing and you want to knit across. I'll knit to this first yarn over pair, stitch yarn over pair. Okay, now if I were going smaller, I would stop here and turn around. But let's see, the instructions say, work up to the first available yarn over at the far side. So I'll knit the stitch, and now I'm going to work with this yarn over. It has the left leg on the front and the right leg at the back, which is not the stitch mount that we want. So the instructions say, adjust the stitch mount of this yarn over by slipping as if to purl and then returning it twisted. So I'm going to slip it and then return it twisted. So now, see here's the right hand leg at the front of the needle, the left hand leg is at the back. I'm going to join this yarn over to this stitch by working a decrease, knit two together, joining this stitch with that yarn over. Okay, see, did that with the yarn over. So that next stitch here is a yarn over, but we're going to turn, get to instruction number six. Right side facing, now we're going to do like we did on the other purl rows. Here you have a yarn over and stitch joined in a decrease. We're going to do another backward yarn over. So there's two yarn overs together here. And purl. So every time we turn, we start with a yarn over even when we're doing the decreasing part. Okay, now I'm going to purl across to the other side. Stay with me. I'm purling across. I don't know anybody else that purls quite like I do. But we all do it a little differently, don't we? Anyway, here we go. Knitting across, or purling across, excuse me. Okay, here we come to a stitch yarn over pair. You can always tell they hang in twos. But I'm going to go ahead and stitch the stitch, purl it. Now I want to join this yarn over to this stitch with a different decrease. This is a slip slip purl. Slip it as if to knit. That twists it. Slip this as if to knit. 